Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the, the, the background on this and the, and the point of, of the exercise is that it, you just said it, but I want to make sure our, our, our listeners are getting this. There's a language difference. There's a language barrier between your conscious and your subconscious brain. There's obviously a huge size difference, as we just discussed, but there's also a language difference. Your aunt, your conscious brain, thinks like we think of thinking. It thinks logically, it uses reason, it understands consequences and things like if then thinking. Your elephant is totally not like that. It's purely visual. Purely visual. All your elef all your subconscious brain does is it sees pictures and then moves towards them. If you want to think about it like an actual elephant, no no joke, Aiden, what your elephant does is it receives an instruction or it sees a picture and it goes, okay, okay, I'll go get that for you. <laughs> And it gets to work on it like instantaneously. So here's what I would invite our listeners to do. This was an exercise that was, gosh, I, I had this, I, I learned this from one of my greatest mentors of all time, Ed Foreman, like 25 years ago. And I thought, wow, this is, this is pretty cool. All right. So here's what I'd love for our listeners to do. And you can do this right now too. Even if you've done it before, it still works. So in your, you can do it eyes open or eyes closed, but in your mind, I just would, I want you to just picture a lemon and get a good clear picture of it in your mind. What color is it? Obviously it's yellow, but really get a good picture of that lemon. See the bumpy waxy peel and the two sort of knobby things on the end. And what I'd, what I'd love for you to do is hold it in your hand and kind of feel the weight of this lemon. Now, all right, take this lemon in your mind's eye, set it down on a wooden cutting board, take a nice sharp knife and cut it in half right down the middle. And now let's look at the inside of it. You see all like the, the little citrus, the, the pie shaped segments. They like, oh, you cut a seed in half right there. So there's like half a seed that you're looking at. It's kind of shiny. You got a little juice dripping down the back of your wrist right now. All right, take that lemon, hold it up to your nose, and just smell it. Smell that good, clean, lemony, citrusy smell. All right, now what I'd like you to do in your mind's eyes, open your mouth, shove that half a lemon in your mouth, and just bite down on it. Taste that sour lemon juice and that bitter, kind of chunky peel. Okay, exercise is now officially over. You can pause. <laughs> and so it, it, it's, it's, it's funny to watch people do, like when I can do this with a group in person, it's funny to watch the reaction. But I, I would bet, Aiden, that any of our listeners that just did that, even if they did it kind of halfway, right now what they're doing is they are swallowing a mouthful of saliva because their mouth just started watering. Many of them, their face tensed up, right? Probably, you know, you like you actually tasted and felt that sour lemon juice and that bit, like it scrunched up your face and a lot of people, like their shoulders all tensed up. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I, I had it even though I've done the exercise several you, you, times. You, you, every you, time, every time. You, you, you knew what was coming and, and here, here's the reason why. It's because your elephant, your subconscious brain, literally, it sees pictures and it will cause you to act like that picture is real, even if it's not. Your, your elephant legitimately cannot tell the difference between reality and a vividly imagined picture, which means that the application of this, you, you mentioned this as well, the single biggest thing that an achiever can do, that a business person can, anybody who's interested in results of any kind, the single biggest thing that you can do to start moving yourself towards them effortlessly is to simply upgrade your clarity about what that picture looks like for you. The clearer the picture in your mind of what you want and then why you want that is the biggest thing that starts moving you towards them in ways that sometimes almost, they literally almost feel like magic. Because when your elephant perceives that picture of the first time you make six figures or when you become a millionaire or when your company achieves certain goals or when you lose 20 pounds and get in the best shape of your life. When your elephant can see that picture and go, okay, I'll go get that for you. <laughs> it is amazing how quickly things happen. Now, you also mentioned something. Can I just roll into the whole thing about please how you Please do, please do. Yeah. The whole thing about how, that you mentioned about how your subconscious doesn't register the word no. 
is key to understand. And this was this was mind blowing to me when I learned it. And I have so many of my clients that are like, wow, this makes this explains so much. Right. The third thing that you really want to know about your elephant, number one, size difference, two, thinks in pictures, it's purely visual, three, doesn't register the word no. Your elephant literally does not. It's not that it doesn't understand the word no, it just doesn't register it at all. And the example that I always use with people is you think about a kid. You think about like a, a toddler. A toddler or a preschooler is probably the best example of this. You take a three or four year old kid, and if you tell that kid not to do something, Aiden, I actually don't know if you have children or not. I do. I have two boys, nine and six. And since you told me about this, I've been almost hypnotizing them <laughs> at night time. It's so funny, <laughs> isn't it? That's great, man. It's so good. You tell a kid of that age, you tell your six, yeah, your six year old's starting to get it probably a little bit better. But when your kids were four or five, if you told that kid not to do something, what was going to happen immediately, Aiden? They'll do it. They'll do the exact thing that you just told them not to mm -hmm. do. And I'll tell you, man, my kid, especially my youngest, was like notorious for this. And what it felt like, I'd say, hey, buddy, hey, don't run out in the street. Right? He's getting ready to play outside. I say, hey, don't run out in the street. And immediately he's running out in the street. And what it felt like to me as his dad was it felt like he was looking at me, hearing me say, don't run out in the street. It felt like he was processing that, looking me in the eyes and going, screw that. I'm going to do whatever you uh, want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It felt like we were having a fight. We were not having a fight. Here's what's going on with young children. The, the, the part of the brain that governs conscious thinking, the ant part of the brain, doesn't actually start developing in a human being until around age six or seven. And so what that means is, Aiden, when your kids were four and five, they literally didn't have an ant. They didn't have the part of the brain that can understand logic and reasoning and consequences. It just saw pictures. It just, all little kids have is an elephant. And that elephant literally doesn't register the word no. So when I would say to my kid, hey, don't run out in the street, what his little brain perceived was run out in the street. And then all that elephant knows how to do is go street. Okay, I'll go get that for you. And it starts moving him towards the street, like on a rope.